For the next few minutes, I will share with you the beauty that is Switzerland. Come with me on a journey. We begin in Zurich. While this is the largest city in the financial capital of Switzerland, it is not the country's capital city. That title belongs to Bern. The architecture here is gorgeous. Zurich is often labeled the most expensive city in the world due to luxurious lifestyles, high-end shopping, and expensive chocolates. When visiting, you don't want to miss a ride on the Dolderbahn cogwheel train. This 1.3 kilometer railway takes riders up for a beautiful view of the city. Another way to get around town is Uber. You may be lucky enough to get a ride from a five-star driver with a book to prove it, like we did. From Zurich, we head to Lucerne. Lucerne is located in central Switzerland. The most notable feature here is beautiful Lake Lucerne. This is one of the over 1,500 lakes in the country. You may want to book a room at the famous Hotel Schweizerhof, originally constructed in 1845. A must-do is a trip to Mount Pilatus. You can journey up by cable car for breathtaking views. While atop Mount Pilatus, you can stop for a bite to eat or shop for souvenirs. On the way down, take a ride on the steepest cogwheel train in the world. The ride is about 30 minutes and you are traveling at a gradient of up to 48%. After descending the mountain, you should treat yourself to a fondue dinner. The origin of fondue traces back to 18th century Switzerland. It began as a way to use aged cheese and breads to feed families who had limited access to fresh foods during the winter. Now it is a treat for everyone to enjoy. From Lucerne, we'll head to the mountain village of Andermatt. There are many shops and restaurants to enjoy here. You may grab a bite to eat at Three Koenig and Post like we did for my parents' 50th anniversary. To get to our next destination, we'll be taking the slowest express train in the world, the Glacier Express. Traveling at an average speed of 24 miles per hour, you'll have plenty of time to take in the panoramic views. Our final stop is Zermatt, which sits at a height of 5,310 feet in the Swiss Alps. This is a car-free town. There are small electric buses to transport people around the city. While in Zermatt, a visit to Gornergrat Mountain is a must. You can ride up by cogwheel train and take in the waterfalls along the way. Once atop the mountain, you can take in some amazing views. You can also get a certificate to remember your trip. The most notable attraction here is the Matterhorn. Roughly translated from German, it means the peak in the meadows. The trip will be well worth it when you can show your friends a photo up close to the Matterhorn. I hope you enjoyed this look inside Switzerland. Safe travels.